You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Road Rants for Black and White Sports. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like, comment, share this bad boy out. So let's get right into this. We're going to talk about former NBA star Enos Cantor Freedom because he has. Answered Charles Barkley back. Of course, Charles Barkley, an NBA Hall of Famer, a guy that used to really preach a lot of common sense till about three years ago, right around the time of the pandemic, he started losing his mind when it came to people not wanting or pushing back against the vaccine. And he did. He lost his ever-loving mind, started shilling for voting left, Biden, and all that kind of thing. Charles Barkley, over the weekend, looks like he got liquored up at some bar and he decided to go on this massive rant, slamming the very people that decided to boycott Anheuser-Busch, Bud Light, Dylan Mulvaney, a biological man that identifies as a little girl. I still find it odd that Bud Light chose a... Um, Somebody that's most of his fans on TikTok are under the age of 21. You see why there was so much backlash in that? That didn't feel right. And when you start bringing in that alphabet ideology into your products, and guys, companies like Disney has been woke for a long time, social justice league, right? A lot of people have turned them off, but boy, they really started feeling it when they started bringing that alphabet ideology into their content. Same thing with Anheuser-Busch. Same thing with Target. Anheuser-Busch, down 30% on sales. Down $30 billion. Target, down $15 billion. Jumped headfirst into that Pride Month, did they not? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the swimming pool bottom was not deep enough, and Target hit, hit their head immediately. And so the backlash has been fierce. Charles Barkley has now joined Garth Brooks. He went out, decided to slam the people that uh, caused the backlash against Bud Light. Bud Light's not coming back in this. They're just not. So Charles Barkley slammed those people, called them assholes and rednecks. Oh, he went full Garth Brooks. He doubled down. John did that video. Quote, all you rednecks are assholes. Who don't want to drink Bud Light? Fuck y'all. The outspoken television commentator told a cheering crowd at a bar in Lake Tahoe, California. Was it a gay bar? Where he was playing in a celebrity golf tournament over the weekend. Barkley's comments were captured on video in clips that have gone viral. In one clip, Barkley offers to buy people at the bar a Bud Light. Hey, y'all can't cancel me. I'm not worried about getting canceled. And this is exactly what he said. I want y'all to drink this fucking beer. I want y'all to drink this fucking beer. I got three cases of Bud Light. Hey, and I want to say this. If you're gay, bless you. If you're transgender, bless you. And if you have a problem with that, Okay, so again, I don't know what kind of bar this was that Charles Barkley was in, but, huh, interesting. Anyway, so he comes out and makes these comments. So enter in Enos Cantor Freedom, a guy that's blackballed from the NBA for being pro-America and attacking the NBA over their human rights issues. And we know all the things that Enos Cantor, he's the one guy that's brave enough to have slammed LeBron James into the ground for shielding China, Xi Jinping, and LeBron James. They're brothers, it seems. <laughs> so, Enos Cantor has answered Charles Barkley back. He has. He answered him back, and he did not sugarcoat this. And he absolutely brought up one of the reasons why this backlash has been so fierce across all of these companies. I hear what you're saying, Charles Barkley. And yes, we shouldn't have a problem with 
problems with LGBTQ or trans communities. However, the problem starts is when they come for the innocent children. Stop pushing this agenda on our youth. Leave kids alone. We do not need to have literature in schools that show boys how to suck. And that's where I won't go any further. But you get Enos Cantor's point. And even he said some stuff I don't necessarily agree with here. But at least he was brave enough to come out and slam Charles Barkley, and he's not wrong. Again, Dylan Mulvaney's main audience, under 21 on TikTok. You know, I mean, what does that tell us right there? Disney has gotten full bore. We're talking about content that specifically targets children. Jump straight into this alphabet uh, ideology in their content. By the way, they're hemorrhaging money. Lost $900 million on movies. Lost another $800 million on Disney+. Plus. But the kids are involved in that. Remember, they decided to get involved with Ron DeSantis' parental rights and education law. And regardless of how you feel about where Ron is right now, he did take on Disney, and they started hemorrhaging money massively. Why? Kids. Enos Cantor's not wrong here. And by the way, a lot of us, just point of fact, tired of hearing these damn celebrities, these damn sports players, these damn analysts trying to tell us what we're supposed to not have a problem with and what we're supposed to be okay with. I mean, Charles Barkley, at this point, what you're preaching is a dime a dozen from your side of the aisle. We're not listening. We're not. Enos Cantor just slammed you. This guy should have an NBA job. He should be on a team right now. The NBA is too chicken shit. Too chicken shit to employ this guy. Not one team has got the testicular fortitude to put Enos Cantor on a team, and he should absolutely be on a team. He should have never not been on a team. But Adam Silver... And the NBA has made it a point to get him out of the league because he's willing to speak up. Unlike former NBA chicken shits like Charles Barkley or current ones like LeBron James. I don't know. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Enos Cantor said, hey, a lot of this is about the children. Even when it comes to Bud Light, because look who you hired in your ad campaign. Look at what his demographics are, his fans, which is scary enough in itself. But you get my point. A beer company, an over-21 beer company, decided to promote this guy. You decided to get involved in that. Yeah, and... And look, this also bleeds into religious beliefs. And yes, people are going to push back very hard on that. Very interesting. Charles Barkley, a lot of bless yous in there and then a nephew. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's one way to go, I guess. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.